Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. I'm Rob McClendon. Well, for more than a generation, small government has been a rallying cry for both conservatives and progressives alike. Ronald Reagan campaigned on it, but so did Bill Clinton. And while it's been a focus of most every political campaign in my memory, the debate over small versus big government is nothing new. Meet John Maynard Keynes and Frederick Hayek, both influential economists with very distinct and opposing ideas about the appropriate role of government in our economy. For much of the 20th century, developed countries in times of crisis followed the Keynesian model of borrowing money to inject into the economy to create jobs, so-called big government. But as the century rolled on, free market capitalism began to take hold. The more hands-off approach of Frederick Hayek that less government intervention meant more economic freedom, well, it began to grow in favor. And the very subjective term of small government became a common theme in most every political stump speech. And no one probably explains this any better than my first guest. Russ Roberts is a research fellow at Stanford University's Hoover Institution and is well known for communicating economics to non-economists as host of the Econ Talk podcast, where he talks with everyone from Nobel laureate Milton Friedman to pop star Kesha. I actually love economics, and I think most people who take economics in college tend to believe that it's the field that's good in theory but doesn't work in practice. And I think it's actually the opposite. I think it has an incredibly useful lens for looking at the world and organizing your thinking. And I think the way it's usually taught, at least in colleges, in a very mathematical way, is very dry, very highbrow. And I think the basic insights of economics are actually much more understandable and much more useful in everyday life. Especially when you teach economics the way Roberts does. Going back and forth for a century. I want to steer markets. I want them set free. In 2010, Roberts collaborated with TV producer John Popola to create a song about the contrasting economic stimulus views of early 20th century economists John Maynard Keynes and Frederick Hayek. Unfortunately, people ask economics to do things it's not very good at, like tell us what interest rates are going to be in three months or whether the economy is going to recover after this injection of fiscal policy. But the fundamentals of economics, the ideas of how markets work, the role of incentives, the idea of what's called opportunity cost, those are incredibly useful for how you lead your life and what goes on around you and how you see how the world works. And I'm trying to convey some of that uh, poetry in, in what I do. And people are listening and watching. YouTube views are now approaching six million. So Roberts and Popola produced a second economics rap video called The Fight of the Century that's also going viral. My partner is who plans for whom? Do I plan for myself or leave it to you? I want plans by the many, not by the few. Let's not repeat what created our troubles. I want real growth, not a series of bubbles. Stop bailing out losers. Let's prices work. If we don't try to steer them, they won't go berserk. Come on, are you kidding? Don't Wall Street gyrations challenge a worldview of self-regulation? Even you must admit that the lesson we've learned is more oversight needed or else we'll get burned. Oversight? The government's long been in bed with those Wall Street execs and the firms that they bled. Capitalism's about profit and loss. You bail at the losers, there's no end to the cost. The lesson I've learned is how little we know. The world is complex, not some circular flow. The economy's not a class you can master in college. To think otherwise is the pretense of knowledge. Situation we choose. Now, when we return, my conversation with economist, author, podcast host, and rap video producer, Russ Roberts.